Hey everybody, there's a bit of a heat wave going on here in, uh, in the Netherlands, so in order to make myself even hotter, and you as well, let's do some, uh, some spreadsheets. So McLaren F1 legendary mythical road car, quite old by uh, today's standards, but oh, what an amazing thing that was. Made of course, designed by Gordon Murray, and he's announced his T50 supercar. And I figured it's interesting to look at some of the differences and, and the performance difference of these two cars. So in this video, we'll tackle two problems. First is that the T50 has a much higher revving engine than the McLaren F1, so you cannot really compare uh, that directly. And of course, the vehicles aren't quite the same. So let's see if we can get a performance difference of these two cars, uh, give it a bit more sort of uh, meat. So the torque curves, well, the one for the McLaren is kind of known. It's sort of published in, in one of those books and it looks a little bit like this, so we have uh, peak torque at around 5600, it's about 650 newton meters, and peak power at 7400, about, uh, what is it, 618 uh, horsepower. The new uh, T50 has a much higher revving engine, of over 12,000 uh, with the red line, peak power at 11 and a half, 654 uh, horsepower, and peak torque at 9000 RPM with about around 590, uh, sorry, around 467 newton meters. So very different look, uh, much more uh, revs, uh, a little bit more power and a little less torque. But uh, we also know that it has 71% of the torque available at 2500. So we have this point, uh, this point, and that point. And the in-between points I just sort of added, you know, this is a pinch of salt, right? This is one of those pinch of salt videos. So the torque curve of the McLaren F1 is reasonably accurate and of the T50, well, it has to be somewhere connecting these three points. So rule of thumb, right? Uh, however, how do you compare this? Well, since it revs so much higher, effectively you can reduce the gearing uh, in order to uh, get the same car speed. And when you reduce the gearing, you increase the torque. And if we do that, uh, for uh, peak power RPM, so 11.5 for the T50 and 74-ish hundred for the McLaren, you get a ratio of 1.55. So you can reduce the gearing of the T50 by 1.55 and then the car will do the same speed uh, at the red line, but you get 1.55 times the torque. So looking at that, here we have uh, the engines and we can see that uh, the T50 engine probably overtakes the McLaren F1 engine when we normalize the gearing uh, so that effectively we reduce that 12,000 to about 8,000. Uh, we see it overtakes at around 4,000 RPM and then the T50 does have more actual torque when we've normalized these engines so make them comparable. So perhaps at a really low revs it's a little behind about 5% possibly we don't really know somewhere around that perhaps, and it will probably be over 10% more uh, torquey at the medium high revs. So purely comparing the engines, once we've normalized them, we can see the T50 engine is, once you get going, going to be more powerful, uh, more torque as well from medium revs. So that's one step up already. And sometimes, sometimes people think that a big engine, six liter engine will have a lot more torque. Yes, it has more torque, but they typically do less revs, and that's not fair. A higher revving engine, you have to take the gearing into account before you can normalize them and equalize them. So doing that here, we see the T50 engine overtakes the McLaren F1 engine. As I'm getting a heat stroke, uh, the final most exciting thing, of course, here we see the engine is better, but car performance is not just the engine. It's a lot about the weight of the vehicle as well. So this is a bit tricky because they say the McLaren F1 has a curb weight of 1138 kilos, but what does that include and what doesn't it include? So we don't really know. And with the T50, they say 986 kilos wet. How wet? <laughs> car wash wet, I don't know. So there is a pinch of salt here. Uh, and I've included an 80 kilo driver. And then we, should, we, should, yeah, we can normalize the performance by uh, looking at how quickly the car would accelerate. And that's the torque and the car weight makes it very important. So the lighter the car and the more torque you have, the more you will accelerate, the quicker you will accelerate. So in this instance, I've normalized it with the McLaren F1, given it an acceleration, a car acceleration of one here at the peak torque. And we saw that at 
just comparing the engines, at some point the T50 overtakes the F1. But since the T50 is lighter, you can see that at all revs, effective revs, normalized revs for the T50, uh, the T50 overtakes the uh, F1 everywhere. So even at idle low revs up all the way up to the red line, you can see that the T50 will accelerate quicker than the McLaren F1, uh, providing it can get the power down, of course. And the difference is over 25%, I think 27% here. So there's a very, very big difference in, in uh, performance. And I figured, well, perhaps it's interesting since this car is uh, stirring up uh, quite a bit. Let's do this comparison, equalizing for the engine, equalizing for uh, the weight of the car, and then we can sort of guess how the acceleration performance will be. And the T50 will be quite a lot quicker. So if the F1 is uh, code brown, I don't know what we will have to dub the T50, but it's gonna be some, uh, some performance right there. So I hope you found that somewhat interesting and uh, perhaps I've caused you to get all excited and uh, suffer from this heat wave that's going on in, uh, in Europe at the moment, but apologies uh, for that and uh, catch you guys later. Bye bye.